Good morning, Rob Bonta, California Attorney General here. Thank you for joining us today with Climate Week just days away. I'm proud to be here with our partners to announce an important action to protect the health and the well being of Californians and our environment. Let me first say a big thank you and appreciation to our partners here today. Thank you to Contra, Contra Costa County District Attorney Dinah Becton and San Joaquin County District Attorney Tori Verber Salazar. Appreciate your leadership and your partnership uh, on so many things, including today's announcement. Additionally, thank you to the DAs of Placer and Sacramento and Solano counties who are also part of today's uh, action and the important announcement. Before we get to the news, I want to thank all the public servants at the California Department of Justice and in these district attorney's offices who led this work, who um, did it uh, knowing that they, they wouldn't get uh, recognition. They did it because it was the right thing to do uh, to keep people in California safe. So I want to say thank you to all of them, uh, including members of my tenacious environmental team, David Zanana, Supervising Deputy Attorney General, and Ed Ochoa, Senior Assistant Attorney General. Allow me also the honor of thanking two former members of my team who worked on today's announcement, helped us get to where we are today, but have since departed the Department of Justice. Deputy Attorney General Reed Sato, who recently retired after a storied career in public service, first joining our department in 1983. And also my former top climate advisor, Special Assistant Attorney General, Yana Garcia, who was recently sworn in as our state's EPA secretary. Thank you, Reed, and thank you, Madam Secretary. We are here today to announce a settlement involving a chain of gas stations in California. In total, there are approximately 10,000 retail gas stations. Collectively, last year, these gas stations sold nearly 14 billion gallons of fuel. That's enough, just to get a sense of that, to fill over 21,000 Olympic-sized swimming pools to the brim every year. And again, that's just gas sold in California. With so much volume, it's especially critical that our state's safety and storage laws are followed because leaking underground storage tanks from gas stations are one of the gravest threats to our nation's groundwater and soil. The stakes are extreme when these laws are not followed. The magnitude of potential harm to our health, our environment, and our economy is potentially devastating. Take, for example, that just one gallon of spilled gasoline can contaminate up to one million gallons of groundwater. Just one pin prick sized hole in an underground storage tank can leak 400 gallons of fuel per year. These are the stakes. And today we are making the stakes safer. I'm proud to announce that we've secured an $8 million settlement with Safeway to rectify environmental violations at 71 gas stations the company owns across the state, potentially preventing an environmental disaster that was waiting to happen. Today's settlement concludes a joint investigation by my office and five district attorney's offices into Safeway's gas stations, branded as Safeway and Vons fuel stations, that found a recurring failure to install, to implement, and operate various spill prevention and safety measures since at least 2015. Underground storage tank systems are subject to strict regulations in California, including Safeway's. To prevent devastation to our environment and health, the state requires all underground storage tank systems be designed and constructed with primary and secondary levels of containment, continuous monitoring systems, constant vacuum pressure, equipment to prevent spills and leaks, and automatic leak detectors. We allege Safeway failed to implement these requirements and beginning in 2015 violated the law at 71 gas stations through a failure to install and or maintain automatic line leak detectors, a failure to construct, operate, and maintain secondary containment systems, a failure to maintain a monitoring system capable of detecting a leak at the earliest possible opportunity, a failure to continuously monitor and conduct required testing of underground storage tank systems, 
and failure to properly notify local agencies of the release of a hazardous substance. Today, Safeway is taking responsibility for these alleged failures and improving its ways. On top of $7.5 million in civil penalties and over half a million dollars to fund several supplemental environmental projects, this settlement includes robust injunctive terms to improve operational safety and compliance to protect our soil, groundwater, and ultimately the health and safety of Californians. Safeway will rectify its harms and additionally improve spill and alarm monitoring at every station, improve employee training across the board, and improve hazardous waste management and emergency response. Moving forward, the company will also employ an environmental compliance manager to ensure compliance with state law, document any unauthorized release of hazardous waste, and submit annual reports to the California Department of Justice, among other responsibilities. California has strong regulations in place to prevent oil and gas from seeping into the ground and contaminating our drinking water for a reason. Because the reality is accidents happen. Without proper safety measures in place, an avoidable crisis can become an environmental catastrophe. Today's settlement helps prevent just that. Protecting our environment and public health is a team effort. I want to again thank our partner district attorneys, and I also want to acknowledge Safeway for coming to the table and rectifying its conduct, going above and beyond to ensure that its operations do not illegally threaten public health and the safety of our communities. Proud to have worked in collaboration and in partnership with other incredible leaders throughout the state and district attorney's offices, and I'm grateful for two of them that are here with us today. Thank you. And with that, I'd like to now introduce, introduce Contra Costa County District Attorney Dinah Becton. Thank you, Attorney General Bonta. And again, thank you for your incredible leadership in this area. I also want to acknowledge uh, that this settlement that the Attorney General is announcing today is certainly a collaborative effort, not only with the Attorney General's office, but I'd like to acknowledge uh, my fellow district attorneys like DA uh, Berber Salazar, and also district attorneys from Sacramento, Placer, and Solano. And let me take a moment as well to acknowledge Senior Deputy District Attorney Stacey Grassini here in Contra Costa County, who leads our environmental work along with an investigative team. The settlement reached uh, with Safeway on environmental compliance is one that not only affects our communities, but all of California. The protection of our environment is of paramount importance, and that's why my office, along with the Attorney General's office and other DA offices around the state, are very committed to the prevention of environmental harm caused by leaking underground storage tanks and holding companies accountable to all regulations and laws that protect our environment. This is a collaborative effort, but we have also had significant cooperation from Safeway as well that resulted in this comprehensive compliance settlement. Our local um, hazardous materials program here in Contra Costa County informed my office that all Safeway fueling stations in the county had some deficiencies in their spill prevention and safety measures for the underground storage tanks. Things like leak detectors, secondary containment systems, any kind of monitoring or testing were all insufficient and Safeway failed to implement those safety uh, measures. After the county's hazardous materials program made an enforcement referral to the Contra Costa County District Attorney's Office, our office worked collaboratively and diligently with the Attorney General's Office, other district attorneys, and our local stakeholders to negotiate this comprehensive environmental settlement. Uh, many of us know the phrase made famous by Ben Franklin, an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. And if it wasn't for the investigation by the Contra Costa Hazardous Materials Programs, the missing preventive measures um, that we um, are talking about today may have cost us dearly in the future. It's really important to note that civil actions like this settlement with Safeway are very uh, effective in forcing compliance with California environmental laws. Uh, and these laws were enacted as preventive measures to protect all Californians from environmental hazards. 
So again, I want to thank uh, our Attorney General for the leadership as well as fellow district attorneys. And at this time, it is my pleasure to introduce San Joaquin District Attorney Bori Berber Salazar. Excuse me. Thank you, DA. It's it. Good morning, everybody. It's imperative we hold violators accountable for hazardous environmental crime. Underground hazardous spills have severe and detrimental impacts on the safety and well-being of our communities. Due to the settlements, Safeway and Vons fueling stations must implement improved storage systems, leak monitoring to improve their spill detection and reporting methods. These are positive steps that Safeway can do to ensure the safety and well-being and the health of Californians. I want to sincerely thank Deputy District Attorney Celeste uh, Cassius from my office and her team in the Environmental Protection Unit for their diligence and thorough investigative work. My administration has been committed to protecting the environment for our citizens and has dedicated attorneys, paralegals, and investigators signed to our Quality of Life Division to maintain this caseload. I'd also like to thank my fellow colleagues in the uh, District Attorney's offices throughout the state who are prioritizing environmental law compliance. We have to continue to protect uh, California's resources in order to maintain clean air, pollution-free waterways, and sustainable climate for all. But I'd also like to take a moment to thank the Attorney General Bonta. His leadership over this past year in doing these types of cases have really sent a message across the state that we are, we are holding people accountable who harm our environment. Um, but we're working in a way that's collaborative and productive in driving results to ensure the safety and well-being. So whether it be criminal justice, or environmental or insurance fraud or EDD guns, uh, trafficking, no matter what it is, Attorney Bonta, Attorney General Bonta has been a leader and has unified this state and made it one of the best states, if not the best state in the United States, in fighting for criminal justice and fighting for our victims. So thank you, Attorney General Bonta, and especially to your team for their incredible hard work and leadership in building these resources for all of us out here in the district attorney's offices to work collaboratively with you. I've been here 35 years and I've never seen anybody do it better than Attorney General Bonta.